There are many reasons why you might need to reinstall an OS on your laptop, PC, or even your Steam Deck, and it's important to make sure that you have a drive that has the right OS image flashed onto it correctly, otherwise you'll end up running into corruption issues. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on macOS. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech, so if that's what you're into then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So in this video I'm going to show you what software I'm going to be using, how to connect up your drive to your computer and then show you how to flash the OS image onto your drive so that you're able to connect it to your device and then boot from it for whatever purpose you may need it for. So first of all, we want to head to the Belina Etcher website and here we're going to download the program for Mac OS. And this is the software that we're going to be using to flash OS images to our USB drive. You then want to open up the download and you'll get this pop up just over here. And then you just want to drag Belina Etcher into the applications folder. Now we want to connect our USB drive. So this one here is the Sabrin Rocket Nano V2, which is a small drive, but is super fast. So we're just gonna connect that into the port of the Mac. And as you can see, it's popped up just over here. So now we need to open up Disk Utility. So we want to press Command and Space, and then we want to type in Disk, and it will come up with Disk Utility. We're going to open that up, and then a new window will appear. Now we need to go to the section where it says External, and as you can see, we see our Sabrin 1TB Nano V2 Media right over here. We then want to click on the Arrays icon, and then we've got a pop-up right over here, and we want to reformat this to Mac OS Extended Journaled. Now we'll name this drive Nano V2, and then we're going to click on Arrays. Let the process complete, and then we'll press Done, and then exit out of this program. Now we want to open up Etcher, so I'm going to press Command and Space again, and I'm just going to type in Etcher and the application is open. And as you can see, we've got three sections right over here. So here we're going to add our iOS image. Then we're going to select our target and then we're going to flash it. So I've got an OS image right over here. Now, when downloading OS images, you want to make sure that you download this from the official website. So if you want an, a Windows OS image, you want to download it from the Windows Microsoft website. This one here is the Steam Deck one. So again, I've got it direct from the Steam Deck website. We now want to drag that into this section over here. We then want to click on select target. And then right over here is our Sabrent Nano Rocket V2. And we're going to click on that. And then we're going to select one. And then we're going to click flash. Here it says a warning because this is a one terabyte drive. It's just saying that it's an unusually large drive. So I'm just going to press yes, I'm sure. Then it's going to say something about typing in my password. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the process is going to begin and you need to wait a few minutes. It can take anywhere from a few minutes to up to 10 to 15 minutes. So just be patient as it starts flashing. And there you go. The OS image has now been flashed successfully to the Sabrin Rocket Nano V2 and is now ready to use for your system. As you can see, that was super simple to do, but just following a few of those extra steps will make sure that you don't run into any issues when trying to flash an OS image to a USB drive. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then please make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.